Hello folks and welcome back to Vinci's Survival here on Sri Lanka. And we have been a little bit busy, We've done a little bit of contract work in between episodes. And what I do is include screenshots of those. And for you see, done three contracts, can't remember what they were, because it's been a hot minute since I've been on well, I've been on Forest Center in general, like, having put up much, much videos lately. We'll be explaining that later on, or maybe on Court Farm episode, but... Anyway, so yeah, done these contracts, and, yeah, make some little purchase of... If we go over here and park up for a sec, because we need to spray the fields. Because initially I was going to skip till January. However, I realised we need to spray all of our fields, so... Yeah, what I've gone done is, obviously in that episode we purchased the John Deere front loader. And what I've got done is purchase a slice fork and a, a little adapter plate for it, so... Hopefully it should all work homogeneously. And yeah, I think this holds, what, like 5,000 litres, so... Yeah, if we have a look at our... Tiander tools, yeah, 5,000 years. We did have to upgrade the weight to, I think it was like 1.6 tons we had initially. And we pretty much almost doubled it with, now got 2.8 tons. And that is enough concrete there, and a little bit of slab something on the back, to be able to lift this. And with the silage, because we got like, what, 400,000 litres of silage in here? And yeah, that is going to be a huge clean-up. And yeah, I've been looking around, like, you know, for maybe like an auger system in that. Obviously can't use any of those, not really suitable for us. Maybe we get away with that, we need to do some research, but... Do I have an enable? Yeah, I'm looking at, like, these, like... In fairness, I'm looking at this, the screw conveyor. That is six grand. See, I'm thinking if we have that, maybe link it with one of these. Yeah, that is, oh, wait a minute. That is huge. Does that that goes to the ground? So, and that's what two and a half grand. Actually, what I'm gonna take a gamble. Obviously, we can only purchase stuff because. Yeah, we want to get that over. So what I'm going to do is just disconnect the trailers. Hopefully we can hook up to this, because... Actually, in fairness, if we can do this, then... We don't need a front loader. Like, I didn't call the front loader because I thought that was going to be the only option for us, but... Yeah, this may be an option for us. However, the slides ain't going to be ready till, what, 6, 7 o'clock, I think, so... We're going to be dealing with it in the next episode, of course. But yeah, I'm thinking... Oof. Yeah. Got to move everything, because everything's just come with a... With a cluster cluck here, so... Yeah, just move this out of the way, we're going to use this. Then we go. So all we have to do is just convey it and just pull underneath the little loop around. I know I haven't given myself the best of margins to work with here, but I don't think that is a good idea. If that's the case, then what, like the 11 grand we spent on this? 11 grand plus? Yeah, that is huge. It's like a screw conveyor, so. Oops. Yeah, should be able to, so... Yeah, I'll just get this into a rough position. Nope, I'm going to go forward. Yeah, something like that. This is going to take a while to empty this. Yeah, we may have a look at it later on. However, last mentioned. Turn off. Turn you off. We need to start doing the spraying because, yep, I completely neglected the spraying. So turn on 
what needs to be thrown out, and it is overfield, so ooh, lovely. You have 46, 47. All oh, the field needs spraying because bit of a neglect in there on my part. And I think we do have some solid fertilizer also somewhere. So I think we can fill up with lime. So yeah, if we've got solid fertilizer, then we can use that. So if I go and just disconnect that a sec. Have a look at here. And there we go. Let's see what we've got here. So, please be fertilizer. It is. So, we've got a thousand leaves there. We've got another 200 leaves in the bag. And 65 leaves there. So, yeah, I may have to use both, because how much is it going to be for a pallet of liquid fertilizer? Yeah, 1200 quid, so yeah, it's not really the best option for us. And yeah, we could utilize both tractors, but you know what? We need to save our money at the moment. Yes, I know we're going to have a lot of money coming in for well, from the silage, but I need to be a bit more wise with our money now because, yeah, we're only get like maybe uh, about 100 grand for all that silage, but one, that is a lot of work involved, and two, we need to think about what the farm needs because, yeah, we're slowly expanding a bit more than I would have liked initially. I thought this was going to be like a long, drawn up process of. Constantly working the same field over and over again before making our next purchase, but yeah, so far we are doing good and you know, going through that liquid fertilizer a little bit quicker than I would like. So, what I'll do is I'll use this, I'll use the solid fertilizer first of all, use all of that up, and then yeah. What we have left over, we will just sell. We'll sell, we'll fill up with the uh, liquid fertilizer, what we will be purchasing if needed. And if we need money in that desperately, we can sell like a thousand years, yeah, a thousand years of eggs. Because how much are eggs selling for at the moment? Let's just remind ourselves. There is a new sell point about, yeah, three grand for a thousand years, so. That is enough for at least two another pallet, so overall we are good, we are golden. And yeah, I am just happy about that, so yeah. Let's go and get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
go, we are in Django now. And if we look at our fields, they are fully fertilized. And yeah, I was worried about missing the harvesting, but no, it's another month for it to be ready to harvest. But that's our grass field that is ready to cut, so we can get another cut of silage out of it. But it's gonna be a while before we are able to do anything, so let's go and uncover this. So, yeah. 443,000 a year or so. So, unfold this. And really, oh, is it not going to pick this up? Nope. By the looks of it, no, it ain't. So. Lovely. So, unless we scoop it up and out and do it. But I'm more looking at well, how much is that other pipe system worth? That is six grand, so ooh. are we gonna even have enough? So if we look at the prices for eggs. Eggs are going down, we should have sold those eggs yesterday, but well, let's quickly sell them, so hopefully we should get enough money to cover the conveyor. First we are done screwing around. Ignoring the pun, so that is two and a half thousand litres. Skip ahead until the next hour. There we go. Yeah, no, let's put times back down to times. Yeah, I'll free up to. Yep, yeah, go and leave these eggs on. Make sure they're secured. Oh no, 2100 got that mixed up with the food, so. Best place is still the market sold for eggs, which is about three grand per thousand a year or so. Yeah, we should just have enough money to cover this, so let's go and sell these eggs. And there we go, and ooh, they've changed a little bit down here. Some new businesses coming in, so let's go sell these eggs. Ah, yeah, that just about covers the cost of this conveyor system. Oh, God. So... In theory, no, we want that, so we want that. Can't afford that, so no, keep it standard. So that is six grand for that, so oh god, this is gonna be really expensive for us, but. We're doing this with the idea of it's going to be profitable for us and so it'll work out for us in the end. So, hop across here and go to the dealership. Yeah, we're left with £883. And yeah, we did use the work a little bit with the spray and that because we just want to get it done before we lost the light in that. So, no, oof. nothing to see there. Didn't know how much light we're going to lose in that, so let's give this a go. Because if this doesn't work, then we waste our money. Yeah, we get some of the money back, but it's going to depreciate that. Even like this alone, we just purchase it. That's going to depreciate in value. And the other conveyor which we purchased last month, that's going to have a month on top of it, so. Alright then, let me get this all set up a sec, and then we'll reconvene, and see if all this works. And that is a negative, and that, that did not work, so what? Screw it. We'll just do it this way then. See, it picks up, 5,000 years at a time. It's going to speed up the process of loading everything. However, we're still looking at what? 
somewhere in the realm of 50,000 or so. Each journey is going to require 10 buckets worth of this. And yeah, also pin, you know, stop screwing around and yeah, I thought using those conveyor setups would have worked and maybe it works for brain and that, but not for signage, so that's a bit of a downer. Anywho, let's go and continue on with this. And let's get our first rot loaded up. Because, yeah, this is going to take a while. Oops, yeah, I've got to be careful of that, like, it just rolled in the way, it just... Brakes all fully working. So yeah, it is a full 10,000 litre load. And we've still got a bit more ways to go, so... Then we quickly get these fully loaded, and then we'll see how much we get for the first load. And there we go, 53,000 years we can hold, so let's go and have a look here, so... Where is it the best place to sell the signage? And if we have a look here, we're looking at, surprisingly, the forest eater, so... We're gonna get £381 per thousand litre, so... That is the same sell point, well, just next to the same sell point, we sold the egg, so... Yeah, we're in line to make some decent money. And that's the thing, if we're going to do this long term and that, like do sides and that, I think we should invest in at least a bigger trailer. Like something like a certain capacity, capacity to this, around 50,000 litres or so. 40, 50,000 litres. But use a vehicle with a fifth wheel hitch. So, like a semi. Or, actually, I'm not sure if we can get like a fifth wheel option here on the pickup. We can. That'd be absolutely lovely. But, yeah, I'm not holding my hoops up on there and that. And again, downside of this setup is a like, swivel axle setup, so reversing is non negotiable. Let's put it that way, so. The first deer ship is here, it's this massive complex here, so I'm guessing we just do it one at a time. So there we go, just want to make sure tip side back, tip side right, so sell the first load and see how much we get. Because yeah, if it's like 50,000 litres. That's four grand. There we go, so sell that as well. Because you have 53,000 a year, so we need to do eight, nine trips. So, what we get here times nine, so about four thousand pounds. So, yeah, we're looking about 20 grand per trip so if we have to make eight trips that is a hundred and sixty grand so actually can we look at semi so we do have some options ooh we've got this the Mac RS 700L this is an import from the US But yeah, we're looking at ooh, 40 engines. Of course, I think a bit high horsepower, maybe. At least 500. Can that transport silage, though? Transport grain, seeds, and that, but no. No silage, so. Ooh. Unless we just buy the lorry itself outright. 75 grand plus a trader. Got that. 
Sludge body is 3,000 litres. But yeah, I think if we're going to go with a lorry. Ooh. 35 grand for something like that. 585 horsepower for a little international. There's some options. Which one will I really deal with? Too much. Just going to leave it as it is. A little bit of patina, maybe. Nah, I don't, don't want any of those. A bit too modern for us, but. Yeah, an international S1800, so. Yeah, 35 grand. Yeah, I'm just looking at these logging traders. So, yeah, 35 grand. Plus a trader. And yeah, how much are we looking at here? So, we can do that. 48,000 litres. Just looking at other options. 20,000 litres, but yeah. They would be lovely, but can't do silage. Or we we'll go with the silage boss. 60. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive. 63 grand. But a capacity of 65,000 litres. I could do the root crops as well. Stones. And like silage in that. So. Realistically, we're looking at 100 grand for this. Yeah. Nope. I'm getting like a beige colour. Yeah, 65 grand, so. That is pretty much bang on 100 grand, so. That's going to be five trips in itself. But yeah, I think, you know what? Let's do the rest of this. We do have contracts to do for this month. So if you look at those. And that's gonna get us what two six three six so yeah about three six hundred quid and i was thinking yeah going for a, tr a trailer setup like that is a huge expense for us but i think long term down the road that would be helpful for us because yeah these trailers are good are cheap ass chips look like what couple of grand for these trailers. Well, not including the pickup in that, but yeah, about 10 grand or so. So yeah, like the value-wise, we're actually looking quite sh quite stupid here, but yeah, I think a semi setup it would be good for us. Especially as we're approaching the 1990s soon, a couple of years' time, but we're in 1998 at the moment, so you know, as we're approaching the 90s, in two years' time, we're going to be looking at expanding, like, hopefully have some bit more newer equipment. And yeah, and just all sorts, so yeah. I am excited for this, so yeah. Let's get this all sold, or at least most of it. See what we can do here. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
our last load here, so we've got 44,000 litres, so yeah, let's go and have a look here. So, should get about what 18 grand or so for this 17, 18 grand, and yeah, we're at 143 grand. So, yep, it's gonna be 100 grand for the new lorry and trailer setup. And yeah, I'm thinking as well. Purchasing another field, a specific field of root crops, whether it's potatoes or veg the new vegetable crops. And yeah, get those done. That's going to be a long job, but hey, with our new trailer setup, we will be having. Hey, it kind of works. So let's go and back this up. There we go. Go just unload everything. See, I want to see how much money we can get because we need to consider like, how much we need to spend on the new field and that. So we're looking at 160 grand and 300 quid. So, yeah, 60 grand for that. See, that is 100 grand for the new lorry and trailer setup. Yeah, what root crops are ready to harvest? So, got red beets here. Carrots are down here. Yep. And yeah, we don't have too many parsnip fields, so. Cause how much are these fields? Ugh. Including the equipment? No. I should just look at what's ready to harvest, or going to be ready. That's ready. A lot of them are ready for it next month. What about potatoes? Oh, these must be like sorghum. 63. Well, that's a potato field, right? Is it? Have a look. Yep, these are potatoes. So, how much are they going to be? Ah, that's been harvested. Dang it, that would have been so nice to have. 48 grand. That leaves us with 12 grand for equipment. So, do some contract work, obviously, as always, but look at equipment so go to potato technology so remember we've got 12 grand left so we'll need that that is 6200 quid and we'll need that and actually well, with our lorry set up we're still gonna need the old traders right yeah we still need the old trader, so that is 5,600 quid, so 5, 11, 11,800 quid, so yeah, we can just about afford it, but yeah, we're still going to need to use these old traders, and actually, what are they? Can they hold potatoes? So we won't bigger one here. Can that hold potatoes? Yes it can, so because yeah unless we can get like a dolly or something hook it up it'd be really awkward though no, it's too, too modern, so you well know yeah, we'll keep these trails. I was going to sell these trailers, but even then, if we look at Let's go back to him sec. Yeah, they're only worth a couple of grand, so... Basically, it's not worth it. <laughs> it generally ain't worth it at all. But yeah, so anyways, let's go and... help fill up the bank account by doing some contracts, so... 
got some plan contracts and a Colby contract. That is for January. And yeah, so it gets back, put away. I then will resume at the fields. And there we go. So yeah, we got plowing to do on 25 and 23. I just remember ourselves. So yeah, 25, 23 are planning jobs. Then we've got a little cheeky Colvin contract just down the road at field 10. Yeah, could have got a job on field 10, but it's getting it over there set up. But yeah, I thought about using the John Deere to do the mowing on 46. However, we don't have a front three point leakage on us to damp slide to it. if you raise it up. But yeah, just I think yeah it's a good point now to have a little chat on I'm gonna be <coughs> explain more on the, my next videos on normal survival challenge and court farm but yeah the reason why I haven't been up known so much lately is down to a variety of factors like Total 24 was gonna be Good year for me, good year for the channel. Do more a variety of content such as mod, mod reviews and map tours. And we're in February now, and there's been some smashing mods coming out in the last month. It's first month of 2024, like the biggest mod drop in history, but yeah, I just generally haven't been up to it, like both physically and just. Yep, a bit mentally as well, just haven't been feeling right lately, and a lot of it has been affecting my own personal life in that, like, I think the best way to describe it, how I'm feeling at the moment is, not so much I didn't have time to do videos and that, it's prioritising at the moment, I mean that's say off. I need to prioritise some stuff and sort my personal real life shit pretty much. Just Yeah, we've all, we all got real life stuff going on. I've got real life stuff going on. I'm not gonna go into detail on what they are, or at least in this video, but yeah, it's just been a bit of a just a mental battle has been just physically some old injuries has been flared up because back in twenty eighteen I was involved in uh, what I could describe as a near fatal motorcycle accident of I was going down the road at 23 miles an hour then next you know some twat in a, another vehicle comes around the corner come crosses into my lane from around the blind bend and hit me at a significant speed of 50 plus miles an hour and yeah, sustained significant injuries from that, let's just put it that way. And yeah, for the last couple of years, been managing okay with a bit of medication here and there, trying to get a bit more active a bit more. Rather than spending 10-12 hours a day in my gaming chair doing videos and content and watching YouTube and whatever around to do it during my day and that typically but yeah recently I had a little another little minor motorcycle off now when we had all the ice here in the UK and yeah just it's flared up some old injuries let's put it that way and since then been struggling physically and that I was that's obviously had some mental impact on it but yeah, I am on the course now of getting my shit together, everything sorted, getting the right treatment I need, both my main physical at the moment. Don't see too much, it's fine. I've got a good support network, I've got my bros and that. Got some family and that, so yeah, I've got a good support network and that. It's just a lot of it is just physically back issues, neck issues and if you've got neck or back issues or had those issues or do someone with those issues, 
you know it can be a bit of a, a chore and a pain in the ass to deal with, especially when it's chronic back pain and all that shit. Ah, just yeah, just yeah. That's what's been making like doing content and that like has been sort of a bit draining for me. And all we do, but most days at the moment is just rest. I'll try to do that farm sit, but it's having that motivation to. It's not so much to fight through the pain, it's not that the pain distract me while I do these videos. I often do it like wincing and all that other stuff, but. I'm going to be back to doing videos soon. Hopefully, from now, when this comes out on Saturday, hopefully. And just yet, yeah, it's been yeah, it's been a bit of a battle the last few weeks of that. But I promise, I will be back into do normal content. How can you do a variety of content, include mod reviews and map tours? But anyways, we got one more pass here to do on the fields. Yeah, so you need to do this pass here to get this contract done. So yeah, let's get these contracts done. And then that's where I think we'll leave it today. Have a nice setup with the bank account for the coming month. Especially for sure purchasing that potato field. Got those fields, I have the other crops to do in February and March. So yeah. Let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. Done, those contracts are completed, so we're at 164 grand now. So, yeah, not too bad, and we'll do some more contracts in February. I am thinking of doing some more harvesting contracts, and being to be honest, I am considering as well just rolling back on these contracts because we're making a lot of money from these contracts, so. Yeah, maybe we should just roll it back a bit on these contracts, but. Hey, by the time we spent the money on the new field, the potato field over there, the equipment for it, the new lorry setup, we are going to be at pretty much zero money. Yes, we've got harvesting on off our oats and that, and it's a good time to sell stuff, but even then, we will keep on cracking on with things, and yeah, we'll be doing more contracts, so having a look at contracts we accept 59 66 and yeah we'll just accept those for the time being that are for February it ain't gonna be for this month but yeah just it's something different at the end of the day and I do love doing harvesting and the more harvesting we do the better this year back on the harvest on that harvest of fields and these are the big fields down south, so 
They will take a little bit of a while with our harvester, but to be honest, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to do that. And also one thing is, I want to save up the money as we are in approaching the 1990s in a couple of years' time. I want to spend these next couple of years saving up some money. So then once we hit the 90s, hopefully the technology in combine harvesters have improved. And we can purchase bigger and better combine harvesters. But obviously, what that comes down to price at the end of the day. Like, it's going to be at least 100 grand, 200 grand for our next combine harvester. So, so yeah, if we can get a bigger header nap better capacities. I was thinking like, even with our combine itself, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit the auger with the trailer. If we can't, one thing we may have to consider is, you know what, just load small trailers up, dump them into the silo, and then from there, offload it into the trailer. Whether or not we'll need another auger cell for that, I do not know. Hopefully not, but yeah, that, that's that's the state of play. That's where we are at the moment. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to it, then please consider. But for to do, hope you enjoyed stay. But for now, this will be from Emblem Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.